Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming and many more. Today we're going to take a look at the part 2 of the Roblox game called Easy Obby Game. For this project, I'll code the project in Roblox Studio using Lua. Lua is a popular scripting and programming language. It's lightweight and easy to use nature means that it's embedded into very popular games. Games like World of Warcraft and Roblox is coded inside of Lua. So now in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use Lua to program so that the cylinders will move and change color um, in a special two second delay. Yep, let's get started. In the first part of this project, we finished the design of the game. Here for the part two, we'll be coding our game so that our cylinder will move randomly and change color. To do this, we first renamed all the cylinders to moving cylinder. So as you can see, we have six cylinders here and we have six cylinders here. Each one corresponds to um, one cylinder. And I have also renamed them to cylinder zero or just cylinder, cylinder two, cylinder three, cylinder four, cylinder five, and cylinder six, so that we can distinguish them from each other. So now the first step, we can actually move to our first moving cylinder. And what we're gonna do is under explore, once we selected um, workplace, move down to our moving cylinder, I can go over here to this plus sign, press it, and then add a script. And this will open up a script file for us. And this script will be a run against our moving cylinder. So let's remove the first message they have. And here, I'm going to start by writing a while loop. And I'm going to say while true do. And um, yep, the end has automatically uh, be filled up for us. So while true, so this is always going to be true. We're going to be work, uh, moving the cylinder inside of this while loop. And since this while loop is forever, the cylinders will keep moving forever. Next, let's do the script for us to move the cylinder. So here I'm going to write script dot parent dot position. And this is the position that our cylinder will be. And now we're going to set it to a new position. And um, the position we're gonna set it to is the current location it is at plus five or you know however more blocks you want to the left or to the right. Um, so here we're gonna use script.parent.position. So grabbing the current position that it is currently at. And I'm gonna add a new factor. And um, a factor three is how we can program uh, coordinates in Lua. So here I'm gonna have a factor three and I'm gonna make a new factor. And to do that, we do dot new. This will create a new factor for us. And here, the first value will be the X followed by Y followed by Z. So we want to change the X value. So we should change the first value and I'm gonna add 10 to the X. So now we will shift plus 10 in the X position. And for the Y I'll have it zero and Z I'll have it zero. So the only place that's changing is the X position. And that will be all for the first line. So essentially what we did in this line is that we have set the position of the cylinder to its own position plus 10 on the X uh, axis. So it will be the same position that it originally was, but the X value will have plus 10. So um, whatever location it has, it will shift 10 uh, points to the X axis. And now we want to reset this. And um, between resets, we want to wait two seconds so that you know the user can have a chance between um, you know, when this block is moving and when it's stationary. So we can say, wait two, this will wait two seconds. And now let's set it back to where it originally was. And to do that, once again, we are changing the location of the cylinder. So we can do script.parents.position. And now we can set it again using the similar syntax. We will be setting it to the current location. So script.parents.position plus a new factor. Um, 
Again, we're gonna be using factor three so that we can have um, x, y, and z coordinates. And we're gonna have a new one. And this time we're gonna do minus 10, zero, and zero. So now um, after we have changed the location so that the x value is plus 10, we wait two seconds and change it back to originally uh, where it was by subtracting 10 from the x-axis. And now we're gonna say wait two again. And now um, if this is all we have in our wire loop, what will happen is that our cylinder will move 10 units to the x value, wait two seconds, and then go back to where it originally was, wait two seconds and repeat um, this step. Now let's learn how to color the cylinder to a random color at each time. And to do this, we first have to make sure that we have the naming convention correct. So here, as you can see, <clears throat> my moving cylinder has six unique numbers. So the first one has no number. Second one is associated with moving cylinder two, three, four, five, six. And the point is to make it so that none of the cylinders have the same name so that we can refer to each one individually. So now what we want to do is above this wire loop, I'm going to add one line of code. And we're going to basically have a variable that stores our moving cylinder so it can change its color. So we can save this as a local variable since we're only using this in this file. We can set local and we can name this variable moving cylinder. Now I want to set it to the actual object of this moving cylinder. So I'm gonna set it equals to game dot workspace dot moving cylinder. And you can see there's six moving cylinders corresponding to these six moving cylinders. And for this file, I'll be using the moving cylinder as my um, object that I'm changing. Now, before we change the position, let's change the color. Do that, we can use brick color dot random. Brick color uh, represents the property for the block color. So to change the block color, we can first access our moving cylinder and we can access the dot brick color. So here we can say move cylinder dot brick color. And this is the property that contains what color this moving cylinder is gonna be. So now we can set it to brick color dot random like this. And now this will return a random color from the possible brick colors we can pick from and set it to our moving cylinders color. And we can copy and paste this and right before our second move back so that it will change color at each step like so. So now with that, we have the base code finished. We can actually expand on what is inside of our wire loop. So let's copy and paste what we already have with the six lines of code. And let's paste this two times. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep um, the weight and the, the move cylinder dot brick color the same. But at each position, I'm going to change the position for the x axis. And it's important that we don't touch the y and z. So here we can make this negative five and five. Here I can make it 15 and negative 15. And so you can really just make it any number. It's good to keep it around 5, 10, 15 to 20. Um, but what's important is that we should have two um, script position where one is going to be a positive and one is going to be negative so that it cancels out. So here it moves 10 and it comes back negative 10. It goes from negative 5 and it comes back 5. So whatever we do, we move it back to the original position. And um, yeah, so this is the um, whole code for our moving cylinder. So to make something similar for moving cylinder two, three, four, and five, and six, we can simply copy and paste this code and modify it slightly so that it will work for all different ones. So here I can copy and paste this. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. Go to moving cylinder two, go to plus, and add a script. And here I'm gonna delete this line and paste what we have in our script for moving cylinder. And the only thing we have to change here is up here in the local variable, we're gonna change 
game.workshop.movingcylinder to game.workshop.movingcylinder2. So we're going to correspond it with the name we have uh, gave it up here. And um, that'll be the only change we have to do. So now we can copy and paste this again. Go to moving cylinder three, add a script. Paste this in, change the local variable name to moving cylinder three, save this. And then moving cylinder four, I would do the same thing. Change this to moving cylinder four. And again, for moving cylinder five, I would do the same thing. Copy and paste and change the name to moving cylinder five. And last but not least, we do the same thing for our moving cylinder six. Copy and paste and change it to six. And yeah, so now we have the code for changing colors and changing the position. And we can actually run our game and see it in action. So let's go to our game. Let's go to file and save our project. So save file. So now we can play the game and uh, do that by clicking play. And now if you look at the cylinders, not only are they changing position, they're shifting and they're changing color as well. So you can see that there's six cylinders and they're all moving um, after a delay of two seconds and changing color. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel or like our videos. Also, don't forget to check out our other two videos here while you wait for the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.